Hello and welcome back. You'd think a year in by now that I would actually check my videos before I post them and realize that once again it hasn't recorded the grid. So here is solve number two for fireworks 2024 and hopefully this time with everything entirely visible. Uh, let's just crack on, walk through the rules quickly and uh, let me just actually double check. Is it recording this time? One. Is that visible? That looks visible. Right, we're in the clear. Uh, so, quick reminder of the rules. Normal Sudoku. Ah, remember, there's a warning in there from Will Power around Fireworks 2024. Obviously, fireworks. Uh, warning, read the rules. Normally, what Will does is if he sees that the rule is almost like a standard variant, he'll put a negative next to it. If it's not a standard variant, there will be a plus next to it. Kind of top tip that came from him uh, so that you can really pay attention to where are some of the variants. The fact that there's also a three inside these black dots is very helpful. It kind of points you towards what you need to know. So normal Sudoku rules, place one, the digits one to nine once each in every row, every column, every three by three box. Then standard thermometers. So numbers on thermometers strictly increase from the bulb end and the bulb ends are the center of each firework explosion. The colors are only to aid the solver in distinguishing between the different thermometers. So essentially that will be the bulb. That will be another bulb. That will be another, another, another. And you have to increase from the bulb end. So one, two would work. Two, one would not because I'm no longer strictly increasing. And obviously I could do, let me pick this one instead, uh, two, three, five, but I can't go back down to four. And I don't have to have consistent steps. As you can see, difference of two, difference of one. That's thermometers. Then Kropke pairs, and uh, this is the twist on the normal rule sets. Numbers with a black dot between them are in a ratio of three to one, and not all possible dots are given. This cell here was a two. This would have to be a six. There are no other options because they have to be, one of them has to be a three X, the other cell. So that's all the rules we have for today. And uh, let me just crack on, and uh, sorry about the mess up with the recording. Right. Obvious things, one, three, and nine. And essentially, if you think about multiples of three, one, three, nine, and two, six, when it comes to three to one ratio, these are the options. If you have three unique digits, it can only be from one, three, nine, and the thermometer gives us the increasing order. You might think you might be able to do something like this in here, but you won't because of this thermometer. This digit has to be bigger and therefore has to be different. So incredibly, but these three digits are also unique. That's one, that's three, that's nine. Uh, do keep in mind, I've already solved this. I'm going to look out for some obvious things, such as where does one go in column two? And the answer is, well, none of these. Nowhere, not halfway up a thermometer. That's the only place for it. Uh, one of these is a one. Sorry, one of these two, I should say. It's not this one, just Sudoku. And therefore, it's not at the end of the thermometer. That's the next one. Uh, where are ones now in box eight? Well, it can't be halfway up the thermometer. That's another one. I hope we can keep this going. I can't remember if you could actually solve all the ones instantly. And I think the answer is you can. Take a look at box six. These are not ones according to Sudoku. And then thermometers rules out all of these. And this, and this, and this. That's the only place left. So the one in box uh, five, well, it can't be these cells. Given the thermometer rules, that's the only place for a one. Nearly done with ones. And yep, not halfway up. That's one. And that's just known. Lovely. Now, I do remember the nines being somewhat restricted as well. I'm just trying to think, can I place any yet? No, 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 nine. Just Sudoku into box five. None of these could be a nine. Not halfway up or in the middle because essentially what would that be if that's a nine that's 10 that's 11 so clearly not no because there's this cell no because there's this cell no because there's this cell so that's the only place for a nine nine now in box eight well it can't be this cell either again what would this be that's the nine nine is one of two cells can't be halfway up that's the nine Okay, so the nines were actually m more approachable than my recollection. One of these two is a nine. That's not resolved yet. Nine in here. None of these. None of these. Yeah, that's nine. 
that's nine, not nine, nine, and we're done. Is it threes next, do you think? And the reason I'm thinking about threes is we've done all the ones, we've done all the nines, and we have been given threes very deliberately, I may add. No. It can literally be any of these three cells. What about in here? Can't be this cell. It's too far away. Two, three, four. But it could literally be any of these. Right. So here's the tricky bit. Oh, hang on. Hang on. One and three, that can only be a two. Have we got any more obvious things like that? No. Uh, tricky ones is where you end up spotting a much longer thermometer than you may expect. And here is one. I'll give you an example of. This is one, two, three, four, but it continues. Whatever this cell is, well, it has, is bigger, five, six, and it's not nine. So this is surprisingly restricted. Did I do that right? I did not. Okay. Have I got more of these lengthy thermometers? Kind of. Let me think. I mean, four, five, six. I mean, it's the same thing. Six, seven, eight. Uh, five, six, seven. Four, five, six. Not quite as powerful as I was looking for. Let's have a think. So this is eight maximum, seven, six, five, and this is at least two. Yeah, that's not something I'm going to enjoy pencil marking. What do I just do there? Yeah, that looks complete. Where does two go in this box? And the answer is it can only be in here. See, because of this thermometer and the way it folds, this can only be a four, and this can only be a three, and this can only be four or greater, and therefore this is going to be bigger still. That's the only place for two. And then eight has to be one of these two cells. Don't know if that's helpful yet, but this is, I don't know if I'm going to pencil, them. it's not three, but it could be four, five, six, seven. And this clearly has to be bigger with five, six, seven, or eight. And this is the only three down. One of these is four. Not sure I can do a lot better just yet. Can this be a three? Yes. In fact, that is not a two. This has to be bigger than two, three. This is four minimum. I'm quite happy with that. That removes pencil marks. And therefore, this is almost certainly a two at this point. Yeah, to be able to be smaller than this, since it's basically quite a long thermometer that's doing that now, and it can't be a nine. And this is clearly not a three. That's a two. But the rest of it seems available. Two is in one of these two cells, both of which work. Not brilliant. Two, Sudoku now, can only be in here. Two can only be one of these three cells, and it can't be three steps away. On the thermometer, that's a two. One of these is a two. Again, that can't be the two because that would be 1.5. We remember the two was in here. It's not very useful pencil mark, never mind. Well, unless there's something of, this can't be a two, come on. That would be 1.5 again, so that is the two. And in here, these are not twos. These are not twos. This is not a two, too far away from the one. That's a two, that's not a two, that's a two. Nearly there with the twos, done. Yeah. That's nine of them. I uh, do need to go into the office not too soon again. I end up having to do like a crash recording session. It's kind of fun though, having to do this quickly. 
under a bit of time pressure. I was going to say this is a 3, but no, this can also be a 3. Literally, any of these could be a 3, can't they? Not this cell. If that's a 3, that would have to be smaller, and 1 and 2 are not available. Smaller? No, bigger. So that can be a 3, this can be a 3. If that is a 3, that would have to be smaller, and that's not available, right? So 3 is restricted. 3 has to be one of these cells. 3 has to be in here because nothing is available between the 3 and the 1. So continue with the threes. That means three is down here. And therefore that's a four, that's a five, that's a big one. That removes a degree of freedom in here. That's lovely. And a degree of freedom of that if I just stay on top of my Sudoku. This can't be a three. That's the only place for a three in column six. This is six, seven, eight. And it has to be the smallest digit, because this is a thermometer working its way up. Six, seven, eight. That's a four, five pair. This is four, eight, and both work. Gives me a five, gives me a four. I should probably keep working on the threes again because they're somewhat fruitful, such as a three here, that's a freebie, that's not a three. And yeah, there's many places for a three in here. All of these work. Uh, not brilliant. And these two work, okay. Forget the threes. Rest of this box, we're nearly there. So I have five, six, and seven. That's a seven, because it's not five or six. That's five, six. Let me just think about that. Both work. And this has to be smaller than five or six and bigger than two, three. This is four or five. Not a seven anymore. This can be anything. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Not great. This is somewhat more restricted. It's not two, three, or four, and it has to be smaller than seven. This is five or six. This is not a four. And then this is three, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is kind of what I remember about the puzzle now, is that you start to pencil mark quite a bit and your solve actually slows down. It doesn't speed up, which is quite unusual. So let's think about the remaining digits. This is four, six, and eight. And at least the thermometer there will help. And that's not an eight, that's not a four. Four or six, that would force this to be a three, which is actually possible if it's a four, but I could go four and five. It's still relatively small. These cells, no, this could be anything again, and therefore this could be very nearly anything. What am I looking for? Not one, not two, not three. This is at least a four. That's not a four. And therefore, this is the only place for a four, and therefore this is the only place for a three. And that places a three from memory in here. I should actually pencil mark this time, you know, rather than relying on memory. This is at least a four, I did say. Four, five, not six, but it can also be seven, given this can be an eight. These two, surely. Four, eight again. That's four. That's eight. That gives me tons of options in here. So this is five, six, seven. Not five, not seven, and this could be any of them. And then we have another four, eight, then we have another five, six, seven. The four can't be any of these cells because they can't be smaller. That's the only place for a four, therefore, in uh, row nine. And therefore, I have five, six, seven, eight in here with a definite eight. 
and then another two or five, six, seven, and a four. And a four can go anywhere. This column two nearly done. Five, six. I need another five, six, and a seven. Yeah, no real restrictions here. Six, seven, this is six, seven, eight, and then another digit, which is a five. Where can I place a five? Any of them. This is another five, six, seven. I'm gonna pencil mark them rather than just keep revisiting them as I just did. So four, five, six, seven, and I need an eight. One of these two cells is an eight. Unclear. And I'm assuming, yeah, one of these, this can't be an eight. That's the clue. That's the eight in here, because if that's eight, what would this be? Given it can't be a nine. Therefore, that's not an eight. Therefore, this is the eight in box four. No eight in here, which will remove a bit of freedom again from this thermometer. This is the eight now. Five, six, seven, that gives me a triplet. That's a four. That's not a four. Four now is restricted to one of these. Uh, that eight has actually given me this eight and now five, six, seven. You know, maybe I should pencil mark more given I'm literally having to remember some of my previous logic rather than just pencil marks, which is probably not the best way of solving. This can't be a four. Sorry, I was essentially thinking there's a triplet of five, six, seven. Can this be it? And that would become an eight, and this would become a four, which it can't be. So that's the four. And this can't be the eight, so this is the eight. And this, therefore, this is the triplet of five, six, seven, uh, all of which are still available. I don't remember the triplets of five, six, seven last time. So interesting, they're now showing up five, seven. Well, there are no triplets here. This is the only place left for an eight in this row. And I should be able to write in this digit, which is a four, not a four. Where's my four in this? Uh, it was here. Sorry about that. Then I have another five, seven and an eight. That's an eight, eight, five, seven. Only one place for the four in column three. I think that's all the fours done. This is five, six again, which gives me the seven, removes the seven. This is now just a six and a five, a seven, I think we're done. This should just probably unwind all the way. Yeah. If I can type, which sometimes I really struggle with. Uh, five, six, five, five, six, and seven. And if I've not made any other mistakes, oh, hang on. That's a six for the solution. Uh, it's a lovely puzzle willpower, even second time round. And um, I'm guessing roughly the same solution time, maybe a bit quicker this time. Uh, Right, uh, I will check videos in the future before I upload. Bye-bye for now.